If you've always wanted a rechargeable flashlight that would fit into your cigarette lighter plug, then this might be it. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I just bought this, and it's a flashlight that will go into your cigarette lighter right there. So it comes with this little extra piece here. I'll hold off on that. I just want to give you a close look at this before we put this in. I think this is anodized aluminum. You can see the knurling here. We've got a couple of flat spots right there so that you can grab it. It says spotlight. This is not that long. Even tip to tip here, I would call this maybe an inch and three quarters. So it's not that long. You can see kind of the base here, which is kind of like your standard 12 volt car charger accessory bottom and that is what will recharge this bad boy i like that we have knurlings on here this kind of castle edge and then you can see it's led right up there now to turn this on and off you can see it just says right there i can go ahead and twist this and what we get is it's on right now you might be able to see there and then if i turn it like that it's off so on off just like that i'm in a super super well lit room right now and I don't know how charged this is, but we will find out. I am actually gonna go ahead and put this into the 12 volt socket and let it charge up. I really like the idea that it's gonna be charged when I need it, instead of a flashlight that might just go in my glove box and not be charged up when I need it and might take up a lot of space and rattle around and maybe I have to put a cable in there. So if I do need it, then I'll put it in the car charger. It doesn't do me a lot of good. Now this piece right here is kind of interesting because this is a clip that will go on the bottom. So if the flashlight is too loose in your cigarette lighter, then you know it can move around a little bit and it's not making that connection then you can put this on here just like this and i think that just slips on there and it will add a little length to the bottom there so that it will make that connection i actually don't know if this is going to need that in my car so i'm going to take that out too and i will put that in the car but if you don't need it, it just clips off just like that all right so let's go ahead and get this in the car charged up and try it out all right so i just plugged it in first thing i want to say is that i needed that little clip on the back so this is my buick encore kind of a standard sized us 12 volt car charger accessory cigarette lighter if you want to call it that but i needed that on there and then when i put that little clip on the bottom fit in perfectly now the other thing i will say is that when i push this all the way in you can see that it is glowing red so i'm getting a little bit of this ambient light from it and it looks kind of like hal from 2000 now this door here i can always close that so that i don't have to see it but depending where your cigarette lighter is or your power accessory that may annoy you if it's kind of right on the center console and it doesn't have a cover that may not be great but what is nice is that i know that it is pushed in there and potentially charging because if I were to turn off the car and the power goes away from that charging port, then it stops charging. So at least I know it's charging. It does provide me just a little bit of this kind of red ambient light. I'm definitely going to leave it there for a little while and see what it does before I show you the demonstration of what it does as a flashlight in the car. All right, I've been driving around a little bit and I just want to show you that the red light isn't really bothering me in terms of my face, but how it's nice is that it actually casts because of the way it is set up here. It's kind of pointing straight down this console. It casts this little red light, which is actually pretty useful for seeing where my hand is on stuff and being able to pick things up. So again, a lot of cigarette lighters are kind of in the center console facing straight up. That might be kind of annoying, but some of them are kind of facing down or out to the side. But this little light, I don't know if that'll stay on forever, but it's actually kind of useful the way it is. So I like it. I dig it. All right, I'll keep letting it charge and we'll check it out. All right, it's nighttime. The lights are off and when the car is off, my power to the cigarette lighter is off and so the flashlight isn't glowing anymore. I'm not sure if it changes color when it is fully charged or not, but I am just pulling it out here. You can see by the street lights, it's in my hand and I'm just gonna go ahead and turn it on because I wanna see how bright this is. And actually, I'm impressed with that. In the studio, under full studio lights, I couldn't really see it, but man, this is bright. So what I love about this is it's small, it's gonna recharge, you're gonna have a flashlight that is powered up whenever you need it. And whether or not you need it in your car, like this, maybe the power is out, the car won't start, whatever, the lights were on, the battery's dead, you can use this. Maybe your overhead dome lights aren't that bright, and so you're trying to read a map, or navigate, or use an electronic, or fix up. A car seat or dress your kid or something like that but i can actually see that this might be useful for being outside too you are out in a flat tire and now you can see what you're doing so even if you are outside your car this could be really really helpful it's actually 
bright enough to be used for a lot of different stuff. So there is the tire in the dark and there it is illuminated by this little tiny cigarette charger flashlight. So if you want to pick this up, it's not that expensive. I would definitely say it's nice to have this little ring there so it fits in your 12 volt, but man, this is way better, way nicer than I expected. So I'm definitely going to pick these up for all my cars. If you want to pick this one up, I'll put a link to it in the description below. Peter Von Panda out. We can discover more and explore so much deeper.